When we were kids, my sister and I used to play in this tree. This tree is not ordinary. It's twisted. It's mangled. It's one of the few remnants left from a violent storm that visited this area 40 years ago. For April, it was, it was extremely warm. It was like 84 degrees, 83 degrees. It was humid. It was sunny, just like it is today. It was just, just as calm as could be. But all that changed by the afternoon. Cloud. And it was very, very discernible because it was the only cloud out. Uh, it was a day like today, except for that one. Just a big old black cloud, real big. And it was like this cloud was so low I could almost touch it. I mean, I felt like I could almost touch it. The ominous storm cloud was more than it appeared. Even at that time, as I say, I didn't realize that, that there was a tornado on the ground. I asked Dad, I said, have you ever seen anything like this before? And he said, no. And, I, and we just both knew that we had to leave immediately. With Grandpa driving, everyone piled into the car. But immediately, as soon as we got to that highway, the wind coming across the road started shaking the back of the car. And I was sitting in the back seat, and I said, Dad, you've got to go faster. It's coming. It's coming. You've got to go faster. And he says, I've got it all the way to the floor. This is all it's going to do. But the wind had the back of that car, and it was just taking it from side to side like that and for about a mile, and then we, out, we outrun it. But not before my family watched the storm destroy the body shop down the street. And then all of a sudden the roof started coming down, walls came in, and it flattened the building all the way down. The only thing that left was the bathrooms. Fortunately for Eddie Hendricks, that is where he had taken shelter. Meanwhile, Alice Raw was home cooking dinner when the storm arrived. All of a sudden the house started shaking. My china was starting to fall out of the china cabinet. When I felt it start, the house starting to fall apart, I ran outside. The first thing I saw was my car sitting there, and I thought, there's safety. As soon as she got in, the car started tumbling across the property while being slammed by debris. A two-by-four came smashing through the back window. I count my blessings daily because that two-by-four had I not been laying down on that seat at that time, it would have hit me. Her family was next door at the time when the storm picked up their home and ripped it apart. It was like someone had put a bomb in it and it went, because all of a sudden it just shattered. When my family returned, they were shocked by what they saw. Because there was five houses up on the highway right in front of our property. Uh, and I remember there was nothing left but the concrete slabs, not a stick of wood anywhere. Looked like a giant broom had descended from heaven and sweeped them all clean, nothing left but the foundation. Unfortunately, the storm destroyed my family's homes too. That if we had been 30 seconds later, we may not be here at all. Alice lost a horse and one of her cows even ended up under her house. But I had three horses left, and I had five calves left, and we were alive.